Hello everyone. What is up? How is it going? This is my first video in my dorm room actually. So my setup is kind of crappy because my room is quite small and I don't really have much room to work um, or even to display Lego sets, but I mean, I'm still going to be buying as many sets as I can. And today, it's kind of late at night, but earlier today, um, I went to Target since it's September 1st and got the Mandalorian Forge set here. And I'm really, really happy with it. So I wanted to get a quick little review and thoughts out of the way. Um, Cause this set is really, really cool. Um, more so than I thought it was gonna be. So we'll start with the figures. First one here is Mando. Nothing new about him other than his jetpack, and he doesn't come with his cape. Um, he comes with two blasters, actually, as you can see. He comes with that little pistol there, and then his standard longer rifle. Um, one thing with mine, I don't remember which arm it is. One of his arms has really messed up printing. I think it's that one. It's kind of hard to tell, but I might try to get a replacement, but at the same time, I have like five mando figures so i really don't need to but i'm picky <laughs> um next figure this is a brand new figure this is the armorer which pictures people were really hating on this figure i personally think it looks really nice actually um mando doesn't have a face i forgot to show that but there's her blank head she uses the same um head mold as gar saxon but I don't know, the printing looks really nice, the helmet looks great, the horns could have been a little better, but she has that fur on there. That would have been nice to see that printed, but, um, or I mean, um, a cloth piece, but that's okay, that's not. And then next, probably my favorite figure of the set is Paz, Paz, Paz Vizsla, whatever you want to call him. Um, the heavy Mandalorian from the first season. You can kind of see he uses that same chest piece as Wrecker and the Dark Trooper, which is really cool. He has that Mandalorian logo. His helmet's really nice as well with a blank head. Um, has that jetpack on the back there. Um, and I'll rip all that off to show his printing underneath. So you can kind of see that there. And at the end of the video, I'll do a little uh, reveal on how I customized him. I actually gave him a upgraded... Actually, why don't I do that now while I'm on him? So, I did add a little range finder. I'm going to put it on his head off screen so I don't break it. Because I'm kind of worried about that. I made this little custom range finder. It's a little crude, but I just cut and super glued that. Um... And then I gave him an upgraded Gatling gun, which might be kind of hard to get into his hands here. But I will certainly try. But, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just save this for maybe the end of the video. Um, let's get to the forge itself. So this set actually surprised me. I, I really do like the features on this. So you start with this little smelting area, which you can hold tools in. As you can see, the armor has a tool there and a hammer there. Um, you can see the flames on there and the sticker that kind of uh, keeps or goes around the entire thing. That looks pretty cool. You have this little bucket here that the armor can actually hold on to and it kind of just sets in the center there. You can take your Beskar pieces, which look like that. And just put them in and allow them to smelt down um this hood piece exhaust also can move kind of like that which is kind of cool um the connecting piece as you can see is right there and you have a little seat here you can seat two minifigures i'll just sit uh mando down while i can you can kind of sit at the table just like that. That's pretty cool, I think. You have the entrance to the building here with an unprinted Mandalorian helmet, which is actually quite cool, I think. This is just a helmet piece with no printing on it. Um, and it's in the darker metal color that we got for the original Mandalorian figure. There's an awesome sticker on the doorway of the Mandalorian logo. 
There's a broom in that corner, a little detailing on that table there. That's really nice, actually. I kind of like this entranceway. And there's another sticker on the other side. Um, finally, you have the other side of this wall. This is pretty jam-packed as well. You can open this here to reveal a little sticker with that and some shelving. You have some sticker panels in there. The one on the right is off-center, and I'm going to try to fix it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, there's this little hologram. I don't know if that's going to focus at all. Maybe it will. You can kind of see it there. It has a Mandalorian on it. it, and I don't know, it looks really cool. I'll probably end up putting that in the bridge of Moff Gideon's cruiser, maybe? Because, I don't know, that seems like it would work for that. And then you have a little press here with a bar of Beskar on there, and you can kind of move this lever around. So yeah, this corner is pretty packed. You can actually also, if I flip this around, you can push that through really easily to kind of break in if you want. And then if you take the cabinet off these boxes, I'll just throw everything out. You actually get a good amount of stuff in here. You get a Beskar bar and then two thermal detonators which are also really awesome and always just great additions. So you get two of those. And then you just get a silver chrome blaster, which is actually really nice too. So you can give that to the armor or whoever you want in the set. And that all just kind of fits in those boxes. And then you can put that back on and add it back on to the chamber here. And overall, you know, I, I really do like this set. I think the two new figures are great. Um, I tried to put Paz's gun on and it, fall, it fell apart, so just ignore that. But he is a really great minifigure. Armor is awesome as well. Mando is nice to get. It's cool to get his jetpack finally. Um, he could have had a face print, which would have been nice. But you get a lot of nice little elements in this set. And I think $30 is definitely fair. So... If you're on the fence about it, I'd go for it. I really do enjoy this set. Um, and yeah, this is going to be the last set that comes out for a while. Uh, pretty much until the UCS ATAT, -AT, which is in November. Um, I'm sure I'll get some sets in between then, and you will see them. But yeah, for now, this is what I got. Um, I'd love to show you my other sets, but again, I'm at school, so I can't really do that right now. But... Whenever I have a break, I'll try to make a video and we'll go from there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. And yeah, definitely pick up the set. I definitely think it's worth it. So yeah, bye.